Hey guys, it's Casey with Accidental Homeschoolers. Today, I'm going to be reviewing my new Epson Ecotank printer. Every change has a reason. Baby, let it come to you. What is all the fuss about this printer? I was a bit skeptical because I've had an HP printer for years. But I've also never had to do as much printing as I've had to do in the last couple of years. So this specific model will actually do front and back if you want to. Um, I know that some of the lower models don't do that. And I thought, well, I don't really care, but let's go ahead and get that because I might really want that in the future, especially if we're going to invest several hundred dollars into a printer. So what i discovered is something amazing so with this printer you get a printer <laughs> and then you also get four bottles of ink now on the box it says that you can do 7500 copies of just like in black and white and then you can do about 6000 copies in color really <laughs> <laughs> so I had to test it out for myself and I had a bunch of units that I needed to print and after I spent a lot of money on these we threw in the towel and we decided to go ahead and buy this printer it took a little convincing but let me show you so you get these four bottles of ink and the thing that I was most concerned about was that this was going to be a giant mess to fill these tanks but it wasn't so when you open it up you have these cartridges that are already in here so you lift up the one that you want you remove the cap the cap is kind of it's kind of like a key and it fits into these slots right here literally just like a key into a lock and what you do is you turn it upside down and you leave it it will stop filling the tank when it is full all on its own and the cool thing is when I first initially filled it there was still about like this much ink left in the bottom so it seemed like a great deal for the money that we spent so you fill up all of your tanks um, shut it you do all the setup for it, which actually was very easy. And I went to printing. So after I filled up these tanks and I did the whole initial setup, I started printing. And normally I'm kind of used to having to do like 10 pages at a time and make sure like nothing crazy happens. There's no paper jams, nothing stupid happens to my computer. It doesn't print, whatever. I didn't have to do that. So I started with the teacher's guide. Of something because I, I really kind of wanted it and I printed all of that then I was so impressed I kept going so I went ahead and printed my son's book that then I never print the teacher's guides because it usually costs too much money I printed the teacher's guide so printed that then I went for something huge. I went for a whole entire unit study with the good and the beautiful. Look at that. All of that. I printed all of this. And look, my ink levels have not changed from when they were filled. I don't know how many pages that is, but that's a lot. But let me show you the print quality. With this study, there's always a lot of mini books. And because it was space, it required a lot of pictures. So I think it has really great quality. The planets look super clear. You can see all the stars. Look at that. That's better than my old printer. I'm actually really, really impressed. So overall, I would give this printer 
five stars, two thumbs up. It is wonderful. I can't believe I didn't buy this sooner. I actually just didn't know about it. But if I had bought this sooner, I could have saved a lot of money. And now I just keep thinking of all the things that I can do and the more unit studies I can download and the more things we can do in our homeschool. This is literally going to change our homeschool. I am so excited. I'm so used to having to figure out how to conserve ink and how are we going to do this and how am I going to print this out and what are we going to do? I don't have to. So it actually, too, it says on the box that you shouldn't, and I don't think most people are printing as much as, as I am or other homeschoolers, but it says up to two years of printing on these bottles. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say it's probably less for as much as I'm going to do, but to buy these, it's cheaper than buying these stupid things. So if you are thinking about it and you are not sure, think of it as an investment in your homeschool or even your home or your home office, especially if you do a lot of printing and you will definitely earn your money back probably in the first year. I bet I get my money back in like the first two months. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. I would love to be able to connect with you more. Bye. Every change.